This is the story of how I stole a bunch of loot without them knowing. It all started after I noticed these four scoundrels heading towards me while I was fighting off Flameheart's fleet. Being the crafty pirate I am, I abandoned my ship and began swimming for land with the goal of stealing as much as I can from these other pirates. I decided to start off small, taking a storage crate. It didn't take them long, however, to start sinking the ghostly fleet. As I made it to the other side of the island, my first pile of loot was already ready to be plundered. Staying underwater as much as I could, I started grabbing all the loot, bringing it back on land and hiding it behind some rocks. After some time, I passed another shot at scoring some more loot, hiding this loot in a different spot so they wouldn't find it all if I got caught. Before I was able to finish grabbing all the loot, the battle was already over and it was time to strike. The more important treasure was still up for grabs, the captain's skull. Getting that skull was my goal. With them heading over, I knew I had to act fast and keep underwater. I grabbed the skull and started swimming towards the island where I was attacked by sharks. Fearful with the sound of my gun attracting my enemies, I used my sword to defeat the sharks and finished hiding my captured skull. Now with my treasure hidden it was time to strike. I lunged over towards their ship, swimming up on them as they grabbed the last of their loot. I hang on the ladder and wait for the right time to board. I hear them firing at the sharks on the other side and I climb up running into the captain's quarters. I quickly hide within the loot and they were none the wiser. Once they leave, I move to a better spot behind the desk. Now we wait. I wait to fight them at the outpost so that they won't go looking for my other loot that I've hidden. This way I can grab as much as I can and sell it at the same time. While we sail, I try to poach some of those special cannonballs sitting within the crate of the dam. Sadly, I couldn't grab them all. As we reach the island, I wait for the right time to strike, knowing it's better to wait till only a few are left on the ship. I grab a chest and hide it to the side waiting for my first victim to enter. I hear him coming and I strike. After taking out the rest of the crew, it was time to sell, but I wouldn't get sloppy. I sell the chest and wait for them to bring me more.
My strategy, however, would not work again, but that's alright, as I still have all my hidden loot back on Kraken's Falls. I sailed back to find my loot waiting for me. I loaded all of my ship and sail away, feeling victorious. Hey, thanks for watching. I know this video is a little different from the others I've done, but I thought it'd be an interesting idea to try something new. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe for more. I haven't streamed much lately, but when the new season comes out, I'll be sure to stream more. So go ahead and follow over on Twitch if you're interested. If you're interested in supporting me in another way, you can support me over on Patreon. All links can be found in the description below. And until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all later on the seas. Bye, y'all.